Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to Let's Play Advance Wars. I know I left you guys hanging there for a week, but I think I'm ready to actually film this beast, so let's get started. The final battle. Now, just to remind you guys, this isn't actually like the final battle, like campaign mode, but it is the final battle with Sturm, so... Um, the, the mission after this, it's kind of just, you know, a bonus mission you get for fulfilling certain conditions. I'll talk about that later, though. So, here it is, the final battle. I posted a preview video yesterday, so... I'm not going to explain too much about this, at least the beginning part. So, uh, go ahead and read the, um, conversation if you want to. I'll do my voice acting at the very end. There's going to be a long voice acting segment near the end of the level. Or the mission. Or when I complete the mission, I mean. Anyways, there is one thing I kind of want to say before I start this. I know I said this is going to be an all S-rank campaign playthrough. I may change that depending on what happens here in this recording. I think that if I get an A-rank, I'll be satisfied with that and then just leave it at that. Um, I'll maybe try again if I get a B rank, but I'll still save the recordings just in case. So, I am going to try for a high rank, and like, if I get S rank, great. But, this mission is really, really difficult, so, um, if I get an A, I'm not going to be very disappointed. I'll have S ranks on all the other missions in the game. You don't actually get a reward for S ranking every mission, but you do get a reward for S ranking campaign mode. And how you do that is it just takes your scores for all uh, 20 or so missions, depending on how many you're going to do in this playthrough, and then just kind of, you know, averages them out. So I should th still theoretically get an S rank in campaign mode, just because I've gotten S rank in every single other mission in the game. Okay, so first, as usual, you can probably guess, we start out with Andy. So yeah, let's do the normal, um, you know, capture thing that we usually do move our units in very weird places making sure we stay out of range of these guys these guys are going to be very annoying if we don't deal with them in the proper way so let's see um, I think I'll just move you right there I think I'll also move you right here I'm not in range of the bomber am I? nope right where I need to be I'm um, gonna move you up. Gonna move you guys up a little bit. And also, I do apologize if the commentary is gonna be a little boring for this mission. I mean, give me a break. This this mission is a very long mission. I'm actually surprised I'm actually doing this live. I was actually considering doing post commentary for this. So, yeah, cut me a little slack on the commentary for this. This is a very long and complicated mission. Anyways, I think I'm done with Andy, so I'm going to go ahead and end his turn. And next we're going to go to Grit over here. Uh, don't worry, Grit. We'll save her. Don't worry about it. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here, I'm kind of getting set up for these uh, uh, air units. Those will be the first things to come forward. So um, over here really won't be a problem. We have Eagle, the Air Meister. And then we have Andy with a few uh, anti-air units of his own. Grit, he has some missiles, but uh, they're going to not be able to go that far, so we want to take advantage of their movement as much as possible, so if they do come into range, we can actually easily shoot them down with our missile launchers, so that is one thing we'll do. Um, one thing I should probably mention is uh, Sturm's CO power, since uh, I guess you technically, well, I haven't technically explained it. I showed it in the 9,000 subscriber special. But I haven't actually, you know, talked about it or anything. Um, his CO power is very dangerous. If you couldn't tell from the 9,000 subscriber special. Basically what he does is he drops a giant meteor on a group of your units. I believe it goes, uh, I think, I think he believe, I believe he hits nine squares total. So, um, if he likes, if he drops the meteor right here on this tank, it'll hit these five units. So, it has a pretty good range, and Sturm usually aims it at the grouping that is worth the most. So if you have like a lot of uh, 
expensive units grouped around each other, he'll generally aim for that area uh, rather than, you know, a group of infantry or something. So you might want to keep that in mind. And actually what I'm going to be doing with Grit, I'm actually going to be using a lot of his units as kind of, uh, you know, a f um, cannon fodder or meteor fodder. So uh, he always drops the meteor on Grit's units. Because, honestly, Grit is not really going to be that helpful. He normally would be if you just want to complete the mission, but if you want a good score, um, you're going to need someone to be used as uh, Meteor Fire, and since Eagle is actually pretty helpful here, Grit is probably the best candidate for being uh, Meteor Fodder. But I'm done with him. I don't really need to explain anything with Eagle, because his movements are pretty obvious. Just make sure you don't get in range of any of the fighters. And you should be fine. I'll move all of his uh, air and anti-air units forward first. His tanks are actually going to be pretty helpful coming up soon. But I'm not going to need them just yet. Instead, I need to focus on the air units that are currently coming towards me. That's probably the most important thing right now. These copters, I can kind of, you know, do whatever I want with them. The copters really aren't going to be that helpful. Really only over here, when, uh, taking out some of these, like, normal tanks. And maybe the regular battlecopters, too. And I'll move the medium tanks forward, too. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, actually, because, uh... It's gonna be getting over here a little more difficult. That's something you want to do. You want to get this, uh, factory up here as soon as possible. Because that'll be a great help. Unfortunately, I didn't really set myself up for that very well. So, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Wait, one, two, three. Okay, I should be fine if I just put them right here. And I'm actually going to build a APC and an infantry. And then I'm going to see if I can get that down here as soon as possible. And I'll end the turn with Eagle. Let's watch Sturm's first turn. He seems fairly competent with his ability, or confident, not competent. He is fairly competent too, but confident is the word I was looking for right there. Jeez, he has a lot of units. <laughs> he really does. I mean, look at all those units. Now, one thing I will say is Sturm is pretty random in his first turn. Uh, usually he won't move his units um, into the place where you want them to be moved, so it can be kind of hard to get them into your range. But uh, from the look of things right now, I got a pretty good setup, so hooray for that. I'll go ahead and destroy you. Um, actually, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. I'm not going to cry about it. And I'll also get one of you as well. Oh no. I should probably try to take out one of these bombers. Or at least do damage to it. Okay, yeah, I'll go for this one. Can you get all the way over here? Yeah, I don't know. I think I actually kind of messed this up a little bit. Um, nothing major, but still. I probably could have made better use of my units here. Oh well. I'm not going to cry about it. I will finish up capturing these two things. And next, I need to be concerned with the oncoming uh, strike of Sturms. He has a lot of units, uh, including some very annoying battlecopters. Okay, so I'll do this. I want to protect the missile launcher, launcher because protecting that will be kind of helpful here. Also, I kind of want to protect the... Battle copters. Um, move you down. Also move these guys down to capture these properties. And I'll also build a tank just to give me some extra units up here for support. I'll move you here. Uh, I may want to actually use this so I can direct fire to it rather than the medium tank. So, I might actually do that. I don't know. Kind of on the fence with this one. Also, I might want to get my medium tank out of the way, because I'll probably need that. So, 
So I'll put it down here. And then I'll also put you here, I guess. And let's see what I can do with grits. 